Hi, I'm Amy with We Make Movies. Let's talk about the iMovie storyboard feature. When you're first starting out creating video content, it's usually a spontaneous process. Aim, shoot, edit, share. As you become more experienced and you start shooting more complex videos, you'll want to do a lot of planning or pre-production ahead of shooting. This will involve creating a shot list and storyboarding your script so you can make sure you get all of the coverage or shots necessary to bring it together in the edit. Get into the habit of planning out your shoot now while you're just starting out. This will create a solid foundation for you when you start upping your content and scope of creativity later. To make it easy, Apple has released a new feature in iMovie for the iPhone and iPad called Storyboard that will help you visually plan your shots. Storyboarding is when you map out your story by creating a guide of shots you will need visually, usually on paper in a comic book panel style. Storyboarding consists of visualizing your shot in the frame, labeling the shot based on the view you want to shoot, and a brief description of the action. When your shoot day arrives, you and your crew will all be on the same page when it comes to capturing the coverage, saving you time and effort. You then will use your storyboard to plan out your video edit when getting to that step. Let's take a look at how the storyboard feature in iMovie in iOS and iPad OS will help you create your shot list, making your pre-production and editing more efficient. Start by opening up iMovie either on your iPhone or iPad. Select the option of storyboard under start new project. Since one of your next videos will be how to shoot an interview, let's use the About Me storyboard. You will start by selecting a style for your storyboard. Each has a preset of music, font style, color, and a filter to apply to your video footage. You can change the settings for each style under Options. We're going to use the Essential style for this example. Select Create in the upper right hand side of your screen. You'll see a player and a template broken into different sections with descriptions of shots underneath. Press play in the viewer. As the storyboard video plays, the shot that is on the screen is highlighted. Hit play to stop the video. Tap I in the player. Your video now shows the name of the shot with a brief description. Storyboards is walking you through the recommended shots you should capture to create a professional looking and sounding interview video. Now it's time to shoot the content for each storyboard block. For this interview, we're going to have your iPhone on a tripod and use an external microphone to capture the cleanest audio. Check out our video on how to shoot an interview for even more best practices in the link below. Either find a partner or plan on being both the camera operator and interview subject for this video. Open up iMovie on your iPhone. Select the About Me template you previously opened and click Edit. Review the shot styles and action described in each scene. Plan out any action in your shots and rehearse what will be said. Select the first shot, medium shot, and tap on the pencil icon for a set of options. You have the following options. Choose from library. Take video or photo, rename clip, or edit clip. For this video, we'll be using the take video or photo option. Make sure you have your subject framed just like the shot description, from the waist up in a medium shot. Your camera app should open and you'll see your frame rate and resolution in the corner. Tap on the setting to record in 1080p at 30 frames per second. Hit record, then have you or your partner introduce themselves by saying their name and where they're from. When you're finished, stop recording. You can select from two options, retake or use video. If you want to record again, select Retake. If you're satisfied with the take, select Use Video. Your video is now in your storyboard list, as you can see by the thumbnail. Continue the process of selecting the pencil icon and recording each shot, matching the framing and answering the questions in the descriptions. After you've attached a clip to each block, you will have a rough edit of your About Me video already completed. Press play to watch it back. There may be a few clips that you want to trim for length. Select one of the clips and tap the pencil icon. Select Edit Clip. You are now in your timeline. The clip is surrounded by a yellow outline indicating that it's active. Play your clip. Right before your subject stops talking, hit Stop. Select the Edit button down below the scissors icon. Three icons or options show up. 
Trim to Playhead, Split Clip in Half, and Trim from the Playhead. Select the first option, Trim to Playhead. The front of your clip has been trimmed. Play your clip, and after your subject is done speaking, hit Stop. Select the Edit icon, and this time select the third option, Trim from Playhead. Move your timeline to the beginning of the clip. Play the clip. Notice how you have trimmed the space, creating a much tighter edit. If you trim too much, it's no problem. You can select the yellow handles on the left and right edges of the clip and pull out or push in to fine tune your edit. The first clip and the last clip have a T in the corner. That indicates that the clip has a title. The text currently has the default text in it, so let's change that to the subject's name at the beginning and end. Select the clip with the T in the corner. Select text below the AA icon. Your keyboard comes up. Type your subject's name and press return. Go to the end clip and add any contact info you might want to share. Let's do one more edit, slowing down the speed of your reference shot. Select the reference shot, the action shot you did in the video. Scroll the bottom icons to the left until you see the speed icon or the speedometer. Select the icon. Move the speed setting to the left until it's at half speed and play back the clip. Notice how the action of the clip is more dramatic? Start from the beginning and play the entire video. iMovie templates tend to give you lots of options, so make sure you clean up your timeline, removing any unused shots before you export. When you're finished, it's time to share your video. Go to the Share button. Select Save Video. When finished, your movie will be added to your photo library, making it easy to share on social media or YouTube. Congratulations! You have just used your iPhone to plan, record, edit, and share a professional interview video using the iMovie Storyboard feature. There are plenty of other storyboard templates to explore. Check out the film template as it will get you ready for one of our videos on how to make a mini movie. I'm Amy with We Make Movies, and this has been iMovie Storyboard Feature. If you like this video, please subscribe to keep up to date with the latest smartphone studio tutorials.